I wanna be free. I wanna just live inside my Cadillac. Train park skiing and snowboarding is becoming a more and more popular sport every year. Each year there are dozens of professional free ski competitions across the globe, including Dew Tour, Grand Prix, Air and Style, the Winter X Games, Winter Olympic Games, and many more. But what actually happens behind the scenes in a train park? How does a ski resort design, build, and maintain the train parks? I was able to ride around with the Aspen Snowmass Park crew to find out. The design of the train parks is fairly simple. It's a collaboration between the park crew employees as well as snow park technology for bigger events like the X Games and Grand Prix Olympic qualifiers. They throw around ideas and make a plan of how to make a fun, safe train park for everyone to enjoy. Once they've got an idea of what they want in the train park, and it comes time to build, this is where the hard work begins. Building a train park is a tedious process and many key factors present themselves when building. First and foremost, snow. It's obvious that it's not easy to build a train park without snow, and that's why if needed, Aspen Snowmass and many other ski resorts elect to make their own snow. However, there's still some reliance on the weather, as it needs to be cold enough for them to be able to blow snow. Also, they need to know exactly how much snow they need to blow in order to create the desired features, and exactly how much water is needed to do so. Once they are able to blow enough snow, that's when they can really get started putting together these world-class parks. Now is the time to actually build. With state-of-the-art equipment and machinery designed specifically for snow parks, the crew is able to build, shape, carve, and groom the various features in the park. A big priority when building is not only the safety of the employees, but also the safety of the features themselves. The park crew conducts various measurements to ensure that the train park will be the best quality it can be. They also take it upon themselves firsthand to test the features to acknowledge any possible changes that could be made to make the park safer. Once the build is done and everything is tested and approved by the park crew, they can now open it to the public and the shredding can commence. After the park is open to the general public, the park crew will still continue to build new features. However, most of these builds will now take place after hours. They must now maintain the train park and its features on a day-to-day -day basis. A daily routine may include raking features in the morning, salting all the jumps around noon, and raking everything again at the end of the day. The crew may also have to perform things such as an accident investigation in the event of an injury. A night crew also comes in after hours and works through the night to maintain the park. It really is an around-the-clock job to run a train park. <laughs> 